Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's October 8th and here are the news making headlines today. After only 10 months on the job, Lafayette Police Chief Thomas Glover has been fired. His termination was announced in a news release Thursday afternoon. No reason was given. Glover was introduced as Lafayette's new police chief just before Christmas and was Lafayette's first black police chief. He came from Texas where he was a retired lieutenant commander with the Dallas Police Department and was president of the Black Police Association of Greater Dallas. In the news conference announcing his appointment, Glover said he was a proponent, proponent of 21st century policing. Sergeant Wayne Griffin, a 19 year veteran of the Lafayette Police Department, is now the interim chief. In a statement, the Lafayette Police Union calling Griffin an outstanding leader who will guide the department with, quote, honor, fairness and integrity. The union made no mention of former Chief Thomas Glover. A man is in the Lafayette Parish Jail after a woman was shot and killed Wednesday night. Brian Babineau is in custody and facing second degree murder charges. Police say Babineau shot and killed a woman on Essie Street. According to a witness, the woman answered a knock on her door when she was shot. We have more information on a story we first brought to you on GMA yesterday in St. Martin Parish. Traffic is once again flowing on I-10 East near Whiskey Bay. That part of the interstate was shut down because of an RV catching on fire. Traffic was backed up for about 20 miles while crews cleared the road. Information on a shooting in New Iberia continues coming into our newsroom. We're learning a pastor is the victim in that Tuesday night incident on Yvonne Street. At last check, Minister Dustin Locks is in critical condition. His friends telling us he was shot at home shortly after attending a forum on community violence. From, depart from that particular forum and back and to reside back home in, in his home and to be shot in the aftermath of that it testifies to the fact that uh, our society is breaking down and it's breaking down and declining and is declining fast. And the weather is staying on a roll as we head into the weekend. Mostly sunny skies on our Friday. It's going to be warm temperatures pushing the upper 80s by this afternoon. Light northeasterly winds at around 3 to 6 miles per hour. But those winds are going to begin to shift from out of the south tomorrow. And with that, humidity will begin to sneak up on us. But back in full force by Sunday. And then as we head through at least the middle parts of next week. Dry but warm weekend ahead. We'll go upper 80s for both Saturday and Sunday mostly sunny skies in place, but again with moisture increasing going into next week, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover out there and the return of at least some isolated rain chances.